Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one. We're going to get into this Pro Box card. This is a loaded Pro Box card. Uh, we're going to start with Luke Santa Maria and Nicholas Flaws, two of the best names in the sport. Uh, really, really good names from both fighters. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So yeah, you had it bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, we don't gamble, but if you do, I use DraftKings. Um, gives a good, gives a good odds, gives, gives a good book. It's user friendly. Uh, but if you do gamble, you draft Kings, um, we'll show you how to bring down the house consistently. Sorry about that. I just lost my brain. I got distracted for a moment. Also, please subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. The Patreon gets you a ton of perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you, you can ask me anything. You can ask the, the boxing bookie anything. I'll handicap a fight for you. If I haven't done a video on it, ask me about a fight. I will handicap it. I'll show you how to make money on it. Uh, it gets you a free t-shirt. It gets you a ton of perks. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into the Pro Box card. This is a really, really interesting fight, and I, and I like it a lot. And uh, With PBC not having many cards, they, they're putting their prospects and, and some fighters on, on Pro Box, uh, Luke Santa Maria has been a, a part of the PBC stable for for many years. He's, sorry about that. He's been in with, with good fighters, and, and so has Nicholas Floss. And, and that's why this is a really intriguing fight. Um, Luke Sa Santa Maria, Southpaw, can make a fight ugly. He commits to his shots. He throws meaningful shots, and, and he's and he's mostly an athlete who moves, uh, but he can commit and he can settle and he, and he throws his punches with intentions, which I, I really like. He doesn't have a ton of power, but he but he throws his punches with intentions behind him, so he gets the most out of the power that he has. He's really effective when he leads. He's got good feet. He's he's like I said, he's pretty mobile, pretty athletic. He gets hit too much in exchanges. He needs to stay away from the ropes, especially with Flaz, who likes to bully people. If he can keep the fight in the center ring and keep moving, he can win this fight because Flaz is rather slow. He said fairly decent legs, decent movement. He's got a good chin, which he's going to need. He's pretty good in exchanges, but he doesn't want to stand in, 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 the, in the exchanges. He wants to combo and flurry from the outside. It's really what he needs to do. He can fight coming forward, coming backwards, right, which is, which is going to be important. But he's going to have to really fight laterally. He's going to have to stay off the ropes, fight, keep moving. He can switch hit, which is, I, I think, crucial. He mixes up his attacks well, go head body, head body. Um, you know, he, he throws different lead shots. His first shot, he'll hook. He'll throw lead, uh, lead, lead power shots from both hands. He's not extremely accurate, which we saw in the Devin Alexander fight. He's flurrying and missing, but he keeps the punches coming. He keeps the punches coming. He doesn't have, you know, he throws in decent volume. He's not a, a volume heavy guy, but he keeps shots coming. He keeps you guessing. He keeps you off balance. Take your offense, turn it into defense. He does a lot of things pretty well. And like I said, he's a pretty good athlete and he can make a fight ugly. He can make you miss. He can get in. He can flurry. He knows kind of how to win rounds, which is important. He's not a terrific fighter, but he's a difficult fighter to deal with. And I'm going to say the same thing about Nicholas Flaz. Basic one-two guy. Strong as hell. Really physically strong. Seems a little bit slow. Carries his hand low. He's easy to hit. He can hit him from range. You can hit him in exchanges. He's an easy guy to hit. But he's got a nice-looking jab. That's what he sets things up. Then he gets inside, and he clubs you with the power shot, with the right hand. Good counterpuncher. And that's going to be his key to victory. He's going to have to counter really well. He's going to have to counter the counters. And, and this can become an interesting fight. If it's an interesting fight, Flaz can win. If it's a boring fight and Santa Maria can keep money outside, he can use his legs. He, he Santa Maria can, can make this kind of a one-sided fight because, like I said, Flaz is slow. When he beat Jahai Tucker, Jahai Tucker was willing to sit in with 
You don't want to sit in with him. Joe Hightower was like 19 years old. He didn't have the man strength yet. And Flaz beat him up. I thought Flaz earned the decision. I think the only controversial thing was how close the judges had. I thought Flaz won that fight clearly. Again, he's got a good jab. He sets things up. He's a bull. He just keeps coming. He just keeps coming. You can hit him. He's got a good chin. He's durable. You know, I don't think Santa Maria is going to be able to hurt him. But this is a fight where you're going to want to take the over. I really, really like the over on this fight. I don't see anyone getting stopped in this fight. If anyone gets stopped, Santa Maria, I don't see, I don't see Flaz being able to really track him down and, and, and corner him and, and trap him and beat him down. Flaz doesn't really have spectacular one-punch power. He's got, like, bully, you know, strong as hell kind of power in his shots. He keeps pressure on. He keeps the punches pouring in. It's what he is. He's... he's Again, neither fighter is the most accurate, but Flaz is just relentless. He throws heavy shots, you know, not, you know, he, like shotgun, like, bow, bow. Um, You know, they're not going to stop you one shot, but they can really dent you and they can break you and they can slow you down. And that's what he's looking to do here. If he can take Flaz, if, he can, if Flaz can take Santa Maria's leg away, legs away, he can have a lot of success. I'm starting to change my mind here. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to talk myself out of this. This is a very, very close fight. This is very competitive. Both guys have a path to victory. Uh, I'm leaning towards Santa Maria. I think he's a little more polished. Um, I think he's a little more finely tuned. But this is a tough fight. You know, in, 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 on the show box card back in 2020, he got iced by... Uh, a Boca Chica in, in one round. And since then, he's ran off two good wins over two undefeated fighters in Brian Sabello and Jahai Tucker. Santa Maria's got a record of 14-3-1. And, and he's beaten better, more established competition. He's got the loss to Jesus Ramos, which I don't feel. But he's got wins over Abel Ramos, Devin Alexander, and he's got a loss to Paul Kroll. And he's got a win over Michael Fox. This is a really, really tough fight to score. Uh, I like the over. We don't have the over here. I'm going to lean towards Lucas Santa Maria based on the experience and the quality of opposition, although just by a hair. So a one times bet is going to make you 66 66 to make you 67 bucks. It's not terrible. I don't love these odds. If you guys get the over, take the over on this. But right now, this is all we have. I think Santa Maria can, can edge a decision here. This is a very, very tough fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, but this is, again, this is not an easy fight to pick. This is a very difficult fight to pick. The odds are fairly close. I'm leaning towards Santa Maria here. Uh, but if you can get the over, take the over as well. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Book in all forms of social media. Uh, follow us. Uh, subscribe to us on Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Five dollars a month gets you locked in a week. You can ask ask the Boxing Book anything on handicap breakdown, any fight for you. Uh, gets you a free T-shirt. Gets you a ton of other perks. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media as well as on. YouTube at Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's March 11th, 2024. From Texas to the world. I hit that a little early. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.